Altavis Nicole Ferguson is a 19-year survivor of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She shares her journey as a cancer survivor with others to not only bring more awareness to blood cancers, but also to inspire others. Here with more on her journey is Altavis Nicole Ferguson. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you. This has been quite an experience for you. You mm -hmm. found out when you were 27 years old. 20, 26. I turned 27 in the hospital. Oh, oh you wow. did. Yes. Tell us about how it all came about. How were um, you? I was performing. I'm a um, performing arts um, theater and all of that. And so I was doing a play in Gary um, at the West Side Theater Guild, and these knots began to form on my neck. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people like, oh, she being a diva, I started covering my neck uh -huh. up because they were bulging out. And so I was getting misdiagnosed. I went on to the doctor, but then I went on ahead and decided not to go. Like, I'm going to do some herbal remedies. I'm going to pray. I'm going to trust God. Everything's going to be well. But then I started to fatigue really bad, and I started to walk and fall. Mm. And I had a fall in the shower, August 10th, 2003. And my husband, we didn't even wait for the ambulance. He picked me up and took me to the hospital. And so for about three days, they did all type of testing. Initially, we thought it was MS because his aunt got diagnosed with MS in her late 20s because the way I was perilous, I couldn't walk. And so um, about three days later, they came in and said it was um, a, a tumor on my spine, but it didn't show cancer at first. Wow. So they said it was on my spine and it was um, forming and mangling around. If I did not get it out, I would never walk again. Mm. So after it came out, they did further testing mm. and then it showed there was signs of cancer. While I was on the rehab floor, I had just started taking my steps, like learning to walk again. And so a blood clot began to travel in this left leg and my leg was as big as both of my thighs put together. And mm -hmm. if you touch me, of course, with the DVT, um, deep vein th thrombus, um, it's hard. You touch it, you're in pain. Mm -hmm. And so they couldn't figure out, like, we got to move and we got to walk in a little bit because I kind of took it lightly, me learning to walk again. And our body is like a computer. If you have brain surgery or spinal surgery, it shuts all the way down and you have to start life mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was very overwhelming and humbling. But when they found it out, um, it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh my goodness. It sounds like they had so much trouble diagnosing you. What yes. do you want others to know about getting checked for, you know, blood what, cancers? What I want to say is you have to have a good pathologist. Um, I'm blessed with my um, oncologist and hematologist. I still see him once a month, and it's been almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. Once a month every three months because um, I also deal, dealt with anemia growing up as a child and had after effects of that after chemotherapy. And so you need a good pathologist, hematologist, and as a women, sometimes our health can go unchecked. Oh, and yes. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And mm -hmm. sometimes you go to the doctor and it's like, well, okay, maybe you're a little stressed or things like that. Mm -hmm. But no, we need to be advocates for our health. And I can honestly say um, I kind of was ignorant in some ways, mm -hmm. and um, I had dreams about what was going on in my body, and I was kind of ignorant of, um, and not getting the detection or the help that I needed, but now I am strictly an advocate for it. I would say go to the doctor. You should do what you need to do to check yourself out. And as a result, you've written a book yes. for other people to actually follow along mm -hmm. yes. your journey so they yes. can see if there are some parallels there and, yes. and, and, and advise them how to go forward. Yes, it's called Live to Win. Um, it was released in um, 2015. And it's, it's kind of like an autobiography. It's my story about how everything started. Um, and it's just a very inspirational, motivational um, book. Um, it's a lot of... Um, inspiring things and affirmations and I always say God is the ultimate healer and I always acknowledge him in everything that I do but um, people sometimes don't understand that faith and medicine can collide and that's the main thing that I want people to understand that your faith and medicine can collide. Mm -hmm. And did that help you in terms of your treatment and healing? Yes it did. Um, Dr. B.H. Barai in Indiana, shout out to him, um, he, um, he said one thing to me the night that we found out and my husband and I, we were young, 27 and 29. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, only God knows where he came from, but he's going to use me to kill it. Mm -hmm. And when you have a doctor that says things like that, you know, immediately I just kind of was like, okay, I can fight. I had two small, well, three small children between us at home mm -hmm. trying to get back to that, my marriage and um, my career. So mm -hmm. um, it is a very inspirational book, and I credit God, and I credit um, my faith in him. And that faith and medicine, again, I keep reiterating that because some people just use their faith, but they don't understand. Mm -hmm. right. Medicine can collide. God put the doctors here. Mm -hmm. So utilize the doctors. Your faith and trust in hasn't be all in them, mm -hmm. but they work together. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for bringing a awareness to this, mm -hmm. Altavis. Uh, the book, she said, is Live to Win. You can find it at her website, altavisferguson.com. Those are social
social media handles if you're looking for some inspiration and yes. maybe even you want to shoot her a question or something. She might be able to help yes, you there yes, or something. Yes. So thank you for coming in and sharing thank your you story with me. us. Yeah, thank we you. appreciate you so much. Thank you.